This universe is full of mysteries. Scientists have been working on solving these mysteries hundreds of years ago, but through the access of telescopes that they had on Earth. Now, years later, many space telescopes have been made and launched that have helped the scientists in proving many things those early scientists had theorized. Now, with the billion-dollar James Webb Space Telescope in space, the astronomers are curious to confirm these theories. One such theory that is a major part of physics, the general theory of relativity. But how is James Webb going to solve it? Is it going to prove any specific field? What actually is this theory and why the James Webb? Welcome to Cosmos Lab, your one station for all the news from space. Join us in today's video to find out about Einstein's general theory of relativity and will the James Webb Space Telescope be able to prove it? The James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST, has arrived at its final destination after a months-long voyage. Now that the telescope is cooling down and deploying instruments, it won't be long before it begins reporting back with results and intriguing new imagery. NASA's new and enhanced space observatory, the Hubble Space Telescope's replacement, has numerous goals in mind for its mission into space. It will not only be used to learn more about the Milky Way, but it will also look for distant exoplanets and celestial objects, as well as search for signs of dark matter. On Christmas 2021, the Infrared Space Observatory launched from ESA's launch facility in Coro, French Guiana, aboard an Ariane Space Ariane 5 rocket. After launch, it traveled over 1 million miles or 1.5 million kilometers to its permanent home, a Lagrange point which is a gravitationally stable location in space. At the second Lagrange point, the James Webb Space Telescope will orbit the Sun. L2 is a point in space near Earth that is opposite the Sun. This orbit keeps the telescope aligned with Earth as it orbits the Sun. Several other space telescopes like the Herschel Space Telescope and the Planck Space Observatory have utilized it. Webb may take relatively little fuel to stay in position if it reaches the right zone due to its near-perfect alignment with the Sun, Earth, and Moon. The $10 billion James Webb Space Observatory, NASA's largest and most powerful space research telescope, will investigate the cosmos to learn about the universe's history, from the Big Bang to the birth of alien planets and beyond. It is one of NASA's great observatories, which contain massive space instruments such as the Hubble Space Telescope to view far into the universe. We have talked about how and what the telescope is going to see, but there is more to it. It is also going to prove the general theory of relativity. Albert Einstein's explanation of how gravity influences the fabric of space-time is known as general relativity. The theory, presented by Einstein in 1915, expanded on the idea of special relativity, which he had published almost 10 years earlier. Although special relativity claimed that space and time are inexplicably linked, it did not recognize the existence of gravity. Einstein thought space and time were intertwined in an infinite fabric like an outstretched blanket. A massive object such as the sun bends the space-time blanket with its gravity, such that light no longer travels in a straight line as it passes by the sun. Because the sun's gravity bends light, the apparent positions of background stars seen close to the sun in the sky, especially during a solar eclipse, should appear slightly displaced in the absence of the sun. General relativity has many fundamental implications for what we perceive in the universe and how we make deep space discoveries today. 
The same may be said for Einstein's slightly earlier theory, special relativity, and its famous equation, E equals mc squared. Now, general relativity predicts the presence of black holes, enormously dense objects from which no light can escape. They represent the most extreme distortions of the fabric of space-time and are particularly well known for how their enormous gravity influences light in a strange way that only Einstein's theory can explain. Not much is known about the giant voids of the universe and it is still a mystery how these objects form and gain such a massive mass. James Webb Space Telescope is going to observe the very large but very broody cosmic object at the center of the galaxy. JWST will contribute to current global efforts to observe Sagittarius A star, the supermassive black hole at the heart of the Milky Way. The gravitational consequences of this enigmatic beast have been inferred, but visualizing the black hole itself has proven difficult. Another thing to note here is the dark matter. According to a new study that investigates an old notion that has recently made a reappearance, dark matter could be made up of ancient black holes. Observations by NASA's recently deployed James Webb Space Telescope could indicate that many black holes were created during the universe's beginning. In the coming year, these findings could possibly explain the gravitational effects of dark matter. Einstein predicted that violent events like the merger of two black holes would produce gravitational waves, which are ripples in space-time. With James Webb Space Telescope in space, we might be able to see the origin and formation of these black holes and can prove the consequences of Einstein's general theory of relativity. The James Webb Telescope studies the universe at two infrared wavelengths at the same time. The L2 orbit guarantees that it is always facing away from the sun, shielding itself from the star's light and heat. With that, we have come to the end of our video. James Webb Space Telescope, as said, is going to revolutionize space research studies, and as it is going to prove these years-old theories, it definitely will be revolutionizing. What do you think about the James Webb Telescope solving the hundreds-year-old theory? Share with us in the comments section below. If you like the content, do give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Until next time. Have a great day and thank you for watching.